<laughs> so when I was, um, so in our culture, we have this expression, blind faith. Why don't we have, in world culture, the expression, blind doubt? Why aren't people always warning, warning each other to avoid blind doubt? Because among so-called educated people, you know, they imagine they're intellectuals or something, they're always warning every people, blind faith, blind faith. Why aren't they warning people about blind doubt? I'll, I'll explain why. The reason is because in the modern world, among people who imagine they're intelligent, and imagine they're intellectuals, and you know, they're sort of dreaming. Among those people, uh, they are prejudiced against religion. And it's like, let, let's say you like, he's my buddy, he's my friend, he's my buddy, so he can't, he, can not, you know, he can't do anything wrong. It's like some parents are attached, you know, they're so, they so attached to their children. You know, the child goes to school and causes trouble, and, and the school complains, no, you're picking on my kid, you're harassing my child. You know, they go and yell at the school. And so, so their child can do nothing wrong, and, and anyone who, you know, and anyone who, who against their child can do nothing right. So in the same way, these people are so attached to their not being a god, they're so attached that if you say, I don't believe in God, that's okay. That's intellectually respectable. You don't need good reasons for that. But if someone you don't have to give a good reason for that. Although what it really means to be intelligent, what it really means to be intelligent is, yes, you do have to, good, you have to give good reasons. If you say this is true or this is not true, you have to give good reasons if you are a rational person. But among so-called intellectuals, I'm talking about university professors, if you are an atheist or an agnostic, no one, no one demands a good reason from you. But if, on the other hand, you believe in God, like, even if you have good reasons, they are never good enough. And so, the conclusion is, we are not dealing with an objective intelligentsia. The university system is not objective. It is bigoted and prejudiced against God. Therefore, in a, in a, you, know, you can teach religion in a university as long as you're teaching anti-God, which is a religion. Yeah. 